Good morning and welcome to Card Design Thursday. So as you know, every other week I do um, a Christmas card so I can get ready for the Christmas season. And this week I am going to be doing a card based on this tissue paper. And this lovely die that I received from Gareth. Um, oh, I don't know where the cover was. Oh, here it is right here. In some happy mail last week. It's this one right here. The Tim Holtz, the snowman die. So I'm going to be using that and this tissue paper. And then also, um, it's going to be an A2 size, A2 size card, which all that means is it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to be using this May May Made It stamp set, all occasions, and I'm using Season's Greetings on this one. So, let's see how the card looks. So this is the card that I created. I used the snow as a background. And then I put the little snowman together and I punched him out in white and colored all the pieces with my Copic markers. And some of those hashtag color markers from uh, Michaels because I, I don't have a lot of Copic markers. And then, of course, I just used a piece of scrap paper, stamped season's greeting, and I just nipped the corner of those. So let's get started and we'll make one together. So the first thing we're going to need is a piece of paper that is going to be a little bit smaller than our card base. And I thought I had cut one, but I did not. I got my favorite trimmer back, found my extra blades. <laughs> so this one is going to be um, four and an eighth. by five and three-eighths. Okay, so this should fit on our card nicely. And it does. So we're through with this. Now, this is our tissue paper that we're going to be using. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm just going to cut a selection of it out. Pull this up. So you can be creative with um, your cards and, and things. Andrew um, from Rags, Tags, and Confections also does um, tissue paper cards and stuff. He does his a different way. And one of these days I'm going to try that, but I just haven't given it a go yet. So, all I'm going to do is take my, if I can find it, my glue stick, and I'm going to glue all over the back of this paper, making sure that I get everything covered. This is a whole lot um, easier than doing the Mod Podge thing. And I learned this from Tracy Phillips, who is Gift Basket Appeal. I saw her doing this, and I thought, you know, I'm going to give that a try. So, hi, Tracy, and thank you for the idea. You just want to get everything nicely covered, the edges and all that. Then, I hope I'm in frame. I apologize if I'm not. Get my scrap paper out of the way. We're going to tape this. Smooth out as best as we can, and we're going to lay the glue paper right on it, and then we're going to smooth it from the back side. Matter of fact, I'm going to take my little stamp block and smooth it with it. So you don't run the risk of tearing the tissue paper when you're doing it from the back side. You can get it a nicely smooth. Okay, so that's what we have. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and run a little bit. And don't worry if you can see the glue underneath. Yes, I use purple glue stick, so but it dries clear, but it allows me to see that I have everything nicely covered on my card. And I'm just taking my finger and smoothing over that. Okay, so while that dries a little bit, let's color our pieces. Here is the pieces of our snowman. Let's see if I can get them up here. 
It is so nice having my craft room back. <laughs> I think I'm missing an eyeball. There he is. Now, these the die cuts cut out in little pieces. So, you do have to be careful so that you don't lose any pieces. And basically, all I did for the snowman body part, I just took some Winka Stella and I covered everything on the snowman. Just to give him a little body, you know, a bite or something. So that he would stand out since everything is white. Now, if you want to, I did not on mine. But if you wanted to, you certainly could um, outline it in black or um, blue or whatever color you wanted to do to match the paper. But I liked him white. But that's certainly an option. I may do this one that way just to see what it looks like after the Winkastella dries. So I'm just running over here. This is a relatively simple card, but it's really pretty. Gives you a chance to use some different products and techniques and stuff. So I'm going to color the hat with my black Copet marker, and this is just 100 black. Now, I am going to pick this up, if I can, and go around the edges so that my edges are black, and then I can just, whoops, okay, so that I don't have white edges showing. It just makes a nice crisper image. So that's done. And then I'm going to do the little eyeballs. <laughs> They're a little bit harder. And to tell you the truth, I was ready to say, heck with this. I'm just going to color the eyeballs in. But the little eyeballs did give it some um, dimension. So I just used my little pokey tool to hold it still and colored them. And then just went around the edges. Like that. Okay, so there's eyes. And then I used this pretty blue. This is um, BG13. It says it's mint green. I think this is the one that I used because it really does match that. Um, Nope, it's definitely this one. I thought felt like it matched the light blue in the uh, tissue paper. So I covered the scarf with this. Yeah, this is what I did. It says mint green, but I swear it looks blue to me. And there again, I could be not seeing it right. But you know what? It's your snowman or whatever. You can make it your own. And so what I did with that is I took um, a dark blue and went around the edges. Not that one. I took a dark blue and went around the edges just to give it some more dimension. And if you're outlining something like I'm doing, if you'll outline it from the back, if it slips off, it's going to slip onto the part 
that you are not, oh man, I just got ink on there. You're not using. Okay. And don't do like I just did. I got ink on it. I'll just try to color it up some. Well, what I'm going to do with that is take my blue marker and I'm just going to go and put some dots on it. And he's going to have a dotted scarf. Okay, scarf done. Uh-oh. I think I'm missing a nose. No, 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 no. Okay, that's the arms, that's the hat, that's the hat, man. Here's the nose. Okay. So, same thing. I'm going to take an orange. I'm going to take my pokey tool and hold him down. And just color this orange. And it is a bright orange. So, to knock this one back a little. Um... I used the um, Gather Twigs Distress Ink. And I just went around the edges of it. Just to darken it up a little bit. And take some of that brightness off of it. And I like the way that looked. his nose and let's color his little arms I do have a brown in here somewhere yeah I do not like these um, hashtag color pencils or whatever the tips on them are terrible but right now I can't afford any Copics, so I'm just using what I have. But this is a really cute dye. Gee, thank you again for this gifty. And I'm just kind of flattening them out. You see how the tips do on these? They're terrible. And that's the reason I'm using a little sheet because um, okay so this is a little hat band goes on his little hat seems like I'm missing a couple of pieces but oh let's look and see I'm missing a little um, holly leaf in his head. I bet it slid under the mat. Well, I'll cut him a little holly leaf later and stick him underneath there. All right. Now back to our card. All we're going to do is take some scissors and trim the excess off our paper. Or tear it off whichever way. Okay. And then I have a little scrap piece of paper here. And I'm going to use my Versified ink and go 
glue on the corner here. So I have to cut so much of it off. And oh, that would be my dog scratching at the door to get in here. Now, by the time you see this, you know I won't actually be here at home. I will be in Pennsylvania uh, with Andrew and Angie. Whoops. I'm really excited about going to visit with them. All I did on this was cut, just to cut around it, make a little rectangle. I cut it fairly close. And then I just took my little scissors and tipped just a little bit off of the corners like that. And do that. So now we're going to assemble our snowman. And we're going to put our card all together. So here. I'm just going to use my art glitter glue for this. Put a little bit of glue in the middle. Sticking down. Take his little head. And then he just comes alive before our eyes. Oh, where's my little red piece? Stick the little red piece on his hat. Oops. There we go. Oh, I do hope I'm in frame. And then just put a little glue on his hat. We're going to stick him down. It's actually pretty good to put the hat on first. That way you know you can judge where the eyes and stuff go. Now for the eyes, I am just basically putting glue on the paper. And where's my pokey stick? My mom, pick a rubber. And dropping them down. For the eyes, same thing with the nose. I'll put him on here. And we're just going to stick that between our little eyeballs. Then we're going to glue this little scarf on. And then his little arms. And you don't have to put much glue on the arms. Um, oops. Basically, you just want to glue this part down. And they go right here. Here. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oops. Let me just adjust everything. Okay, so that's our snowman. And then I'm just going to offset him a little bit. And I actually put him on foam dots. Or foam pads. All right, we're just going to stick him down a little bit like that. A little off-centered. 
And then I'm going to take um, the little tag we cut out. And I'm going to use the um, marker, the B BG13. And I'm just going to go around the edges of this just to give it some color. And I'm actually going to lay my marker down and just go right around the edges of it in the front just to fade in some more color. Okay, and I'm just going to put one little pad on there. And then stick him down like that. And then we're going to glue him on our card base and then we will be done. that make sure that's straight okay all right there you go guys that is our Christmas card for the second week Thursday in March and I just think they came out so cute um, so give it a try use your tissue paper look at things in different ways um, if you've known me for a while you know I hardly ever use anything the way that it was intended to do <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial for this little card. It's very cute. Um, go ahead and do your Christmas cards throughout the year. That way you'll have everything done by the end of the year. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you've not joined my channel yet, please do so by clicking the little Eiffel Tower up there. And don't forget to tap the bell. All right, thank you, and I will see you again next week for Card Design Thursday, and we'll be doing a spring card. All right, thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye.